Welcome to 2019, I guess. No, Aries. You want to go play out there? Just thinking about it. So today, I think we're going to go to the coffee shop, write about our goals, and then we're going to go to the gym. But the good thing about 2019, aside from all the snow, that's a joke, Kenna's making us some burritos. And she colored her hair. Let's see it. What do you want? Athena. Why are you so talkative? I don't know what that means. Okay, let's go. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? While Athena just sits and so talkative, Aries will sit and bake for food. Huh. Sweet potatoes, pork, eggs, burrito. Cheese. Cheese. What's that? Special seasoning. So our favorite coffee shop went out of business. It's called Wiseburg. It was really good. We used to go there a lot to write and read. Now we found this new place. It's called Beans and Brews. And since it is the beginning of the year, we're gonna try and write down our goals. I kind of want to share something with you guys. I'm gonna show you my goals from last year. Here are my goals from last year. Uh, actually, I wrote this down back in. When do we do this? In the summertime? Mm -hmm. In the summertime. So here were my goals back then. I wanted to get above 2,500 subs, which we've achieved. And here's a breakdown of how I wanted to do that. Continue grinding, reveling content, upload five times a week, stream more. And there was also something I wanted to do was my, my Operation Gamer Fitness. You know, how, there's some of you guys that are, um, have sponsored me. I want to offer more to you guys like the, the five dollar subscription I want to offer something more than just gaming because you know I'm also like a CrossFit addict uh, vlog more this is how I'm gonna obtain that more fitness vlogs eat better travel I didn't get to do this because uh, I actually ended up going to my brother's wedding which I gotta watch he bought all the there's a uh, groom has been some watches I got some post 2018, so we're here to write down some more goals. Kenna, what are some of your goals? 2018. My 2018 goals? No, 19. What do you want to do? By the way, vanilla chai latte. Um, my goal is to actually start uploading on YouTube, start streaming more. Um, and you hear that? McKenna's gonna stream. Her handle's right here. Um, I don't know. I want to help people more with uh, nutrition, fitness, helping them like, staying motivated and inspiring. So kind of like accountability coaching in a way. And sell all my clothes that I don't wear, which is a ton. Ask Steven. I'm not talking about it. It's a lot. So get rid of those because that'll be lots of extra money for when we start traveling more. And then start dancing more too. So that'll probably be some of my YouTube videos as well. Yeah, major changes to the channel. Fall 2019. Uh gonna be a lot more IRL streams. Welcome to my gym, Roy CrossFit.
Africa. Told myself to push and never stop. I've been stressed out, watching both these hands around the clock. With my eyes wide, trying to get the panorama shot. Whole world getting blurry to me, answers getting lost. So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front. And remember that the world's yours, do it how you want. You've been waiting here for too long, think it's time for you to move on. Realize that there's real lies and these real times will be strong. I've been waiting all my life, and it was right before my Watching all this time slip by Now I realize You know what I mean All right, guys, here comes the long part of today's vlog. Uh, I kind of want to do this once a week. I want to share a workout that I do uh, usually on the weekend with you guys. And I can even do give you guys some home workouts to do. Uh, but that first part was just lifting. We were spending about 15 minutes to try to get a heavy, clean double for the day, so two cleans. Now today, this is our, this is our wad, what we're doing. This is our workout. And the workout is I'll walk you guys through this part. The first thing we're doing right here is 21 back squats. Uh, I have 165 pounds on the bar. Looks like McKenna has 65 pounds. And I believe Shelby off to the right has 85. I think that's what it is. <clears throat> so this triplet we have, we have, we're doing three movements. We're doing a back squat, we're doing handstand push-ups, and then we're doing sandbag uh, from ground to over the shoulders. And like I said, I'll talk you guys through it. So the first part was just 21 deadlifts, or I'm sorry, 21 back squats. Now this next part, we are going to be doing nine handstand push-ups. Bring your head to the ground and press all the way up. Looks like I <laughs> had a fault there, I accidentally fell down. Shelby over here is doing uh, just push-ups. She doesn't have her handstand push-ups just quite yet. So push-ups is a great scale instead of the handstand push-ups. Uh, I would prefer her to do like a strict shoulder press, but she has some uh, some stuff bothering her, bobbing her shoulder. So a push-up, nonetheless, is going to be a good scale for her. All right, now that we did nine, the next piece is the sandbag. Shoulder from ground to over the shoulder. I'm doing 100 pounds. It looks like Shelby and McKenna, I believe, are doing the 50 pounds. It's real important on these uh, sandbags. You want to clean the bag up to your to your knees see how I do it and then use your hips to pop it up looks like McKenna is <laughs> she's kind of just skipping that step I don't know how 50 pounds feels with her but I think it'd be a lot easier for her easier for her and less taxing on her lower back if she were to bring it to her oh, looks like I vaulted her in there as well but if she uh, brought it to her knees first and then pops it over just like that all right that was basically like the first round the second round is the, it, the reps on the back squat decrease. So the first round we did 21. This round we are doing 15. The handstand push-ups are going to also decrease by two uh, reps. And then the sandbag over the shoulder, that's going to increase by five reps. All right, so here we have 15 back squats. Back, back squat, what's real important here is keeping a neutral spine, make sure our back uh, remains the same as it were if we were standing up. See how no one's curving their back. Also, depth. We want to have our hip crease fall below our knees. And we also want to make sure our knees are tracking over our toes. We don't want them caving in. And the reason why we're doing these movements, the back squats, the handstand push-ups, and the sandbag over to shoulders. I just asked the girls, I was like, name movements you guys want to do. Shelby picked back squat, I kind of picked handstand push-up, and I picked the sandbag. And I was like, all right, this is what we're doing, and this is what we came up with. So these back squats, uh, the, the weight that we're doing is relatively light for us. All, all three of us can lift a lot more, but when you're adding like conditioning to this movement, you want to do something that you can move relatively easily. Like you don't want to do something where you have to, like on that set of 15, if I could only do five reps and then had to rack the bar. 
kind of defeating the purpose of this workout. This workout's kind of just to move. All right, so now we're on the handstand push-ups. And like I said, it's going to degree, decrease by two reps. So now we are doing seven. This round right here, once I got to the sandbag, I was like, oh man, five, five reps was kind of rough. Now we gotta do 10. So yeah, like I said, the sandbag, the reps are increasing by five. So now we have to do 10 compared to five the last round. And here I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm pretty fatigued right now. I keep having a problem with that sandbag. It keeps, I'm losing power. I'm not generating enough power for my hips. So that's, it's not just f flying over my shoulder. See how I'm like, getting, I'm fatigued. I'm getting lazy. I need to go have a talk with McKenna after this. There you go. That was, that was a good rep for me. Moving rather slow today. I mean, if you guys saw my uh, live stream yesterday when we were playing Just Dance and drinking, <laughs> I'm paying for it. Definitely paying for it right now in this workout. All right, so these back squats, they are now decreasing by six reps. We are only doing nine. I don't want to pick this bar up. I am so fatigued right here. McKenna's looking at. Yeah, this bag just looks super easy for Shelby. She just throws it over like it's nothing. She too could uh, benefit if she brings it to her knees first. She would waste less energy. And like I said, less taxing on the back. Alright, again, on these handstand push-ups, they're going down by two reps. So now we were only doing five reps here. I'm not, in my head, I'm like, oh man, I really don't want to do 15 reps. But the good thing is after these 15, that's it, we're done.
All right, that was a long five reps. We're a third of the way there. Well, Shelby's already done. Kenna's gonna finish before me. Last count, I don't know where I am, but I think McKenna's about to finish here. Yeah, I think this is my last five. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna. The goal is to vlog a little bit more, uh, a little more fitness vlogging. So if you like this, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want some like personal home workouts that you can do, I can definitely assist you uh, with there. So like I said, New Year, let's achieve those goals together. So we're gonna cut the video there. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, as always, peace.